Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to solve the MCQs of chapter Biotechnology Principles and Processes from question number 26 to question number 50. So let's start. If a plasmid vector is digested with EcoR1 at a single site, then one sticky end will be produced, two sticky ends will be produced, four sticky ends will be produced, or six sticky ends will be produced. So plasmid is a circular DNA. If it is digested at a single site, one fragment will be produced with two sticky ends, which means option B is the correct choice. How many fragments will be generated if you digest a linear DNA molecule with a restriction enzyme having four recognition sites on the DNA? Okay, so if the DNA is linear, then the number of fragments generated equals n plus 1 where n is the number of recognition sites or sequences hence the number of the fragments produced here will be 5 because there are 4 recognition sites so option c is the correct choice how many fragments will be generated on the digestion of a closed circular dna molecule with a restriction enzyme having 6 recognition sites on the dna so as the DNA is circular, the number of fragments generated equal to n, which means equal to the number of recognition sites. So as there are six recognition sites, so the fragments will be generated will be six. Identify A, B, C, and D in the flowchart given below that represents the process of recombinant DNA technology. Okay, so A is restriction endonuclease b is restriction endonuclease c is dna ligase and d is transformation so let's check the options restriction endonuclease restriction exonuclease restriction endonuclease restriction endonuclease okay and then c is dna ligase this is dna ligase hydrolysis Okay, and D is transformation option, B is the correct choice. In recombinant DNA technology, a plasmid vector is cleaved by modified DNA ligase, a heated alkaline solution, the same enzyme that cleaves the donor DNA or the different enzyme that cleaves the donor DNA. So the plasmid vector is cleaved by the same restriction enzyme that cleaves the donor DNA leading to creation of sticky ends. Option C is the correct choice. Gel electrophoresis is a technique of separation of charged molecules under the influence of magnetic field. Incorrect. A technique of incorporation of DNA molecules into the cell through transient pores made due to electrical impulses. Incorrect. Technique of separation of DNA fragments through the pores of agarose gel under the influence of electric field. Correct. Technique of separation and purification of gene products incorrect. So option C is the correct choice. Which of the following statements are correct? Thiol plasmid of Agrobacterium tumefaciens is used to deliver desirable genes into plant cells. Correct. Hind second always cuts DNA molecules at a particular point by recognizing a specific sequence of six base pairs. Correct. Separated DNA fragments cannot be visualized without staining on an agarose gel electrophoresis, correct? ORI is the sequence responsible for controlling the copy number, correct? DNA is a positively charged molecule, incorrect. DNA is a negatively charged molecule, which means option B is the correct choice. Having become an expert on gel electrophoresis, you are asked to examine a gel where would you find the smallest segments of DNA near the positive electrode farthest away from the wells near the negative electrode close to the wells near the negative electrode farthest away from the wells or near the middle? They tend to slow down after first few minutes. So since DNA is itself negatively charged, it would move towards the positive electrode in gel electrophoresis. DNA fragments are separated on the basis of charge and masses, thus smaller DNA fragments further it moves from the well which means option a is the correct choice which of the following steps should be performed by a person in order to visualize the bands of dna fragments obtained from gel electrophoresis 
exposure of DNA fragments to UV radiation, staining with bromophenol blue followed by exposure to UV radiations, staining with ethidium bromide followed by the exposure to UV radiations, a person can see the bands without a staining. The correct choice is option C, staining with ethidium bromide followed by exposure to UV rays. Study the given figure carefully and select the incorrect statement regarding this. So it represents it represents uh, a typical agarose gel electrophoresis in which lane one contains undigested DNA. We have to tell, we have to select the incorrect ones. Okay. So. It represents a typical agarose gel electrophoresis in which lane 1 contains undigested DNA. Correct. Smallest DNA bands formed at A and largest DNA bands formed at B. Incorrect. Third, the separated DNA fragments can be visualized after staining in the visible light. Incorrect. The separated DNA bands are cut out from the agarose gel and extracted from the gel piece. This step is known as elution. Correct. Okay, so op, uh, statement second and statement third are incorrect, which means option B is the correct choice. Which of the following tools of recombinant DNA technology is incorrectly paired with its use? Eco R1 production of sticky ends correct, DNA ligase multiplication of R DNA molecules incorrect. ORI controls copy number of linked DNA correct, selectable marker, identification of transformants correct. So option B is the correct choice. If you want to recover uh, many copies of the target DNA, you will choose a vector which does not have origin of replication, which does not have cloning site, which whose origin supports high copy number or which has only one restriction site. So the correct choice is whose origin supports high copy number. Gel electrophoresis is used for construction of recombinant DNA by joining with cloning vectors, isolation of DNA molecules, cutting of DNA into fragments, or separation of DNA fragments according to their size. The correct choice is option D. Separation of DNA fragments according to their size. Which one of the following characteristic is generally not performed for cloning vectors and origin of replication, an antibiotic resistance marker, multiplication, multiple restriction sites or high copy number. So option C is the correct choice. Read the following statement and select the correct ones. Some ki same kind of sticky ends are produced when a DNA has been cut by different restriction enzymes incorrect. Exonucleases may cut at specific positions within the DNA incorrect. Hind second was the first restriction into nucleus to be isolated correct. A bacteriophage has the ability to replicate within bacterial cells by integrating by integrating its DNA with bacterial DNA. Correct. DNA fragments move towards the cathode under the an electric field through a medium. Incorrect. So option statements third and second fourth are correct, which means option C is the correct choice. Which of the following is not a cloning vector? Cosmid, PBR322, Sol first, or PageMid? So, Sol first is a restriction enzyme, which means option C is the correct choice. Match the column 1 with column 2 and select the correct answer from the given codes. Okay, so ampicillin resistant gene is selectable marker separation of dna fragments electrophoresis and hind third hemophilus influenza rd and pbr322 artificial plasmid which means option c is the correct choice the gene rope Represent, present in PBR322 cloning vector code 4, the proteins involved in the translation, the proteins involved in the replication of the plasmid, the proteins involved in the synthesis of ampicillin only, the proteins involved in the synthesis of tetracycline only, 
to the correct choices the protein involved in the replication of plasmid. Identify A, B, C, and D in the given figure of Escherichia coli cloning vector PBR322 and select the correct option. Okay, so A is EcoR1 and B is BAM H1, C is ampicillin resistant and D is ORI so eco R1 BAM H1 ampicillin ORI okay option D is the correct choice reach the given statement and select the correct option statement 1 the cloning vector is required to have very few preferably single recognition sites for the commonly used restriction enzymes correct Statement to presence of more than one recognition sites within a cloning vector will generate several fragments which will complicate the process of gene cloning, correct? So both statement 1 and 2 are correct. In PBR322, tetracycline resistance gene has recognition site for which of the following restriction endonuclease? Hind third, BAMH1, EcoR1 or PST1. So the correct choice is BAM H1. Read the following statements and select the correct ones. Okay, so electrophoresis is a technique used for the separation of the molecules based on their size and charge. Correct. Plasmids are extra chromosomal self replicating, usually circular, double stranded DNA molecules found naturally in many bacteria and also in some yeast. Correct. It is not advisable to use an exonuclease enzyme while producing a recombinant DNA molecule, correct? In EcoR1, the Roman numeral 1 indicates that it was the first enzyme isolated from E. e. coli RY13, correct? So, which means option D is the correct choice. All these statements are correct. PBR322 was the first artificial cloning vector to be constructed. What does PR stands for? Bacteriophage and recombinant, Bolivar and Rodriguez, Poir and Replicative, or none of these. The correct choice option be Bolivar and Rodriguez. Which of the following is not a characteristic of PBR322 vector? It was the first artificial cloning vector constructed in 1977 by Bolivar and Rodriguez. It was most widely used, versatile, and easily manipulated vector. It has two antibiotic resistant genes, tetracycline and ampicillin. It does not have restriction site for sulfur, so option D is incorrect. This is these are correct. So option D is the correct choice. What will be the effect if PBR322, a cloning vector, does not carry ORI site? Sticky ends will not produce transformation, will not take place. The cell will transform into a tumor cell, the replication will not take place. So for the manipulation of any alien piece of DNA in an organism, it needs to be a part of a chromosome which has a specific sequence known as origin of replication ORI. If ORI is not present in a cloning vector, replication will not be initiated, which means option D is the correct choice.